guys, so I'm really excited uh, about taking this piece apart. I love ripping and tearing. Um, so I'm gonna start off with this one. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, we kind of disassembled everything, did a quick high level uh, review of what's going on. And uh, this time around, I'm gonna strip it bare balls. So can't wait to see what happens. Okay, so I played around with this thing a little bit. Um, seems like if I were to remove the coils individually as a packet, I would have to cut all along these seams on the inside to be able to pull them out with the symbol as a one piece. So, since I don't want to do that, get in there too far and cut it, and I'm not really caring about salvaging the armature. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut the windings right across and see if I can open them up and peel everything away. Now these armatures, same as uh, starters, same as alternators, uh, they're laminated. You can see there, there's multiple little pieces put together. So it makes it a little bit easier to maneuver those pieces if you've got an air hammer out of the way to get a little piece angled right to pull it out instead of fighting and struggling. Um, so hopefully that'll come to be an advantage on this one as well. And uh, I won't have to fight too much to get the coil out. So I'm gonna try the first one and see how it goes. Alrighty, I prefer using the air hammer. Does it have any sparks? I can tell exactly what I'm hitting into, and it cuts through copper like a hot knife through butter. All you need is a good compressor and a good air hammer. Now, look at that bundle. That's just one out of four. And it is pretty thick. So I'm gonna keep peeling everything off. Then I'll throw it on the scale and see how much one of those weighs. That is a nice pile right there. Still a very big winding, as always, right? More magnet than copper. Um, but I'm about to throw this thing in a bucket, throw it on the scale, and uh, see how much we have. So I had a little bit of difficulty finding a container big enough to put it all in without a toppling as soon as I put it on the scale. But if we take a look down here, the scale isn't calibrated very well. So I would say even given it 50 pounds is uh, pretty optimistic. Um, and after I get rid of all this coating on here, doesn't look like much, but uh, it adds up, so once I do that, I'm sure it'll get rid of another three to five pounds. Um, so I'm gonna say conservatively, let's say 50 pounds, and we'll see uh, after one of these coils all clean how much we get, but looking pretty good so far. That's a couple hundred pounds of copper alone on this armature, plus a little miscellaneous. So I'm gonna keep stripping this one. And uh, then on to Big Beauty. Oh, I can't wait. Well, that last coil came out. A lot cleaner than the other ones. I think if I had maybe two or three more of these giant generators, I'd be uh, pretty good at stripping these. And one pile here. The rest of the pile there. And we just have a few stragglers left on the armature. A couple aluminum wires there. 
a little bit of copper, and then we can just throw that giant chunk in the scrap. So next up, we have our first little coil. This is the smallest one. Now sometimes you see these epoxied in on the inside, then you'll see the epoxy kind of spilling out a little bit. On this one, it just looks like an open channel. So I think what I'm going to do is cut the coils and cut the loops on one end and try to pull them out of the other side and we'll see how that goes. Well, plan A didn't work too well. Made a nice mess of things. Um, not quite easy to pull out. It does look like it is epoxy a little bit on the inside in the channel. So it doesn't move freely. Um, every time I just pried on it, it just ended up breaking and shattering. I ended up having to use uh, my multi-angle swing press just to get what I did have out there. So phase two, I am going to try cutting, opening it up, and uh, see if maybe uh, that'll make things a little bit easier. Okay, attempt, I don't know, six beers. Uh, trying to pull it out, not working. The wires are too brittle, they just keep breaking. Uh, even after cutting, I cut one end off. I tried pulling out, wasn't working. Uh, but what did end up working is, after I cut the ring out, I just used the old hammer and punch to knock this bundle out and that seems to be working okay so I'm gonna keep cutting along the outside I'm gonna take out the little die grinder hammer it out and see how that goes this is why I don't like using a grinder um, especially copper it just gets you some copper dust everywhere that's why I prefer the air hammer but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do at the end of it pretty dirty haul lots of it needs to be cleaned the last method worked by the time I did that everything came apart in maybe six seven minutes should have done that from the beginning but live and learn next time I like hitting stuff with a hammer though I do some smithing on the side for a little bit of fun so anything to do with a hammer I'm down so hopefully the next coils we do have a little better yield and take a little less time. So time for a beer and back at her tomorrow. So, learnt by my trial and error for the uh, last coil. So this one, right off the bat, just gonna go ahead and cut them off. And hopefully we can uh, punch them out the same way we did the last one and uh, save a, a couple of minutes. Let's see what happens. So I've been uh, messing around with it a little bit, uh, punching it through didn't work, I don't know if it's because I didn't cut the ends flush like the last one, or uh, maybe it's not bundled quite as tightly, uh, but what seems to be working the best is air hammering off this end, I could grind it off again but I don't like the dust, and then punching the slug out with the air hammer. Okay, so we've got that coil completely stripped. See, we're weighing in at around six pounds. 
A lot of work for that, but uh, it was kind of fun. So, let's move on to the next item. Numéro 3. The biggest stator of them all. This one's close to 100 pounds. I don't think uh, the copper to weight ratio is going to be quite the same as the other ones. Looks like there's a very, very big uh, framer on that. But uh, it does look like it's going to be a little bit easier to remove. So, let's get at her. Well, I call that a solid success. Went a lot faster than all the other ones. Let's uh, tally it up and see how much was in this piece. And the tally is in. Looking like 25 pounds. Not bad for about five minutes of work. Oh, but now, now is the part I've been excited for for a while. Oh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> 